Okay, we have our last step uh, in our RPA address. So right under the save as a PDF, we're going to go to our mail options. There we go. And I'm going to bring over this desktop Outlook app, bring that over. And we're going to select from the drop down. I have two accounts, my personal email address and this accounting 3140. And we're it's still going to reference Outlook. Then the next thing we want to do is actually send the email. So we're going to bring that in from the mail functions. It's the last item. We're going to drag that over and we're going to select Outlook. Then we want to get the email address. So from the current row, we're going to select email. That way it'll go from whichever row we're on. And then we're going to type in text for the vendor confirmation. And we're just going to go down here from the plus sign, click on text. That brings up a text builder and just type in the text and save. And the body, we're just going to say see attached. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to add text and see attached and save that. I'm going to deselect save as draft because I want it to actually save, uh, to send, I mean. And the last thing is we're going to send an attachment. So we're going to go ahead and point to the confirmation letter. So I browsed and found the PDF file that we saved up above. One thing you may need to add, and I think I'll just have you add this one here for now, is uh, type in the activity delay, and we're going to put a five second delay. And on some PCs, basically the Word document, since we're opening and closing and opening and closing, it sometimes trips over itself. So just putting a five second delay in kind of clears up that problem. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And now let's go ahead and run. It opened up the Excel file and here it is opening up Word and there it's creating person one and it will close and save it as a PDF, which we won't be able to actually see. Now it's reading in the information for person two. And I actually slowed it down so we can actually see it here. It is now changing to the information for person two. And it will close the file and saved it as a PDF. And now it's reading in the information for person three. And you should be able to see it change here. There it goes. And it'll save it as a PDF. And now if we check my email, there we go. We have three vendor confirmations. You can see the last one here has the name. Okay, so you have now built your bot. Um, follow the rest of the directions for how to submit. Uh, all you're gonna do is copy some screenshots. With that, have a great day.